Once, when he was a little fellow, I took him to the circus. <laughs> he and I, a day together. I was trying. You know how it is with little kids when you take them somewhere where they can get away from you. Well, <laughs> he dashed this way and that way, and I'd chase after him. It's a real struggle for a while, but finally he seemed to settle down a bit and things began to go a little bit better. And by the end of the day, I was really feeling good. You know, he, he was smiling at me and I was smiling at him. It was, a, you know, a relationship. And while we were even laughing as we came in the front door. But there stood my wife. And I'll never forget the look on her face when she saw us, that smile, and she said, He's not ours. You brought home the wrong child, you fool. I was sick about it. <laughs> he seemed like such a nice little fella. Yeah, the kid I brought home was blonde. Ours was dark. She said I wasn't even trying. After a while, police came, brought ours, took the other one, fined me $25. I'll never forget the look on my child's face as he sat in that police car. His eyes glaring, teeth clenched, ice cream cone in each hand, refusing to get out. He didn't want to leave the policeman, and the other kid didn't want to go with the policeman. He begged and screamed not to have to go away. Well, my wife, you know, she just kept screaming. What kind of father are you? Go get your own child, damn it. It was an awful moment. I knew I was pulling for the wrong kid. But she kept screaming. And by this time, there were neighbors and they began to hoot. So I carried the other little boy to the police car and he hugged me goodbye. And then I carried my boy into the house. And as we walked, he rubbed both ice cream cones into my face and the crowd cheered. And it was then I knew I wasn't really cut out to be a father. Besides, she said I was finished anyway. I'd never be able to take the kids out alone again. And so, I came here. <laughs>